Quite a view. Uh-huh. You know, this landscape, these views, this America, it holds us tight. And once we've seen it, we'll never know ignorance again. Maybe. It is that beauty, which really is the eternal beauty that is truth. This is God. Not the proof, but the thing. Not his work, but him. Wonderment is our morphine, I suppose. All us Americans dream of places. They are our God. Our dreams. Us, perhaps. I suppose. Forgive my crude naivete, but are you a cowboy, sir? Not really. Kind of. I am that most worthless of all creatures. A writer. A second guesser of our creator. A dreamer of others' dreams. Okay. Evelyn Miller. Evelyn Miller? A man I knew. He was a great lover of your books. Thank you. But you're not? Most went a little over my head, I'm afraid, but some of the bits he read stuck with me. I'm a terrible fraud, sir. Your friend was deceived. I am God's blithe plaything. And what a feeble game he has begun in me. My mentor never saw things quite like that. You know, I used to write in a study and teach at a university. I taught some Connecticut fops how best to appreciate their topiary. I was a gilded ape. I loathe the man I was. The man I am. Uh, guess we all live with certain ways of coping with what we've done in this life. I enjoyed our conversation. There's a truth in you, sir. A rare truth. Treasure it. I'm, I, I'm living in a cabin over near Tanner's Reach. Uh, come by sometime. Maybe we might talk some more. Maybe I shall. Good day. The reticent cowboy. Hello. I, you never told me your name. Jim Milton. John Marston. Which? John Marston. Long story. I'm a writer. I love stories. Ah, <laughs> uh, another time. Guess I'm as big a fraud as you claim to be. I'm trying, John. My wife didn't understand. Doesn't understand. The parish priest has taken to writing me missives about the exact nature of my sins. The parish priest! Can you imagine? Oh, what a petty-minded lot they are. I was attracted by my fraudulent fame, by the idea of me as some kind of provincial seer. Oh, it makes me sick. But here, I live like a man. I'm feeble, but alive. <laughs> I'm a man! For the first time in my life, I'm a man. Okay. Or... I'm still a coward, but a real man would happily die rather than live as I do. Uh, I don't know about that. We... <laughs> we're all scared of something. Something within us. But me, I'm nothing but fear. Fear and doubt and lies. Just a glimpse of how other men have coped and lived and survived and flourished. There are days when I sit here and weep about all the things that I've lost. We've lost. We true Americans. We peasants. We are killing this place, John Marston. Killing what? This. This great beauty. This truth. What are you talking about? Come. Let me show you. Where are we headed? Prepare to be shocked. Come along. Follow me. Unless you're showing me Bigfoot, you should know. <laughs> I'm not so easily shocked, Mr. Miller. But you will be. Wait until you see the waste, the boundless appetites of these men. I know you will be horribly shocked because I see that frontier spirit in you. The self-reliance, the harmony with nature that us, us modern men have so lamentably lost. I hate to spoil your impression of me, but... 
I've been known to eat from a can just as often as... Oh no! Up there! The poor creature is caught in a bear trap! John, can you do something? Uh, let me see. The cruelty of it. If you could pry it open, it may recover... Stay calm. Let me try and get you out of this. Those contraptions. They are unforgiving and indiscriminate. You did it! It's free! A second chance at life. Maybe. As long as that wound don't go bad. <sighs> Still, better to die free than in the jaws of a machine. Now, come on. We have further to ride. The men I'd like to show you, they could have set that trap. Hunters? I've seen hunters, sir. And like I said, I've been one myself. Hunting for food or skins is one thing, but dredging rivers, burning out forests, killing everything you find, and leaving all but the most valuable parts to rot, that is who these men are. They are the rapaciousness of our financial markets let loose in the wilderness, and a sign that our way of life has come to an end. I see plenty of those signs. John, <laughs> this, this place, this is heaven and hell, the duality. I think you got hit on the head. Come on, let's get you out of here before more of them show up. But I think we've made our point. Now, come on, let's go. Mr. Miller! Mr. Miller, are you about? Hello, sir. I'm working, I'm afraid. Okay. I'm desperately trying to finish my book. It's absolute tripe, you know, but it's all I've got left. Well, I've... I'm not eating, drinking liquor, or leaving this cabin until this draft is complete. Okay. I feel amazing! <laughs> Aside from the doubt and self-loathing, but I've seen a great beauty, John. Okay. You take care of yourself. Get yourself something to eat. I can't fight my own nature. None of us can. Brought you some food, Mr. Miller. Good, good. Uh, I'll pick it up when I finish this part. Hey, uh, how how are you, 
sir. Never better, never worse. But I'm really in the middle of something. Sure. Mr. Miller, I brought some more food. Just let me complete this thought, eh? There's a good man. I brought you some food. Mr. Miller? What's that smell? Mr. Miller! Oh, shit! Crazy bastard. When I'm done, just burn me. I want to soar in the air with the eagles. Not rotten the ground with the worms. Evelyn Miller. <laughs> 